Guys, welcome back to Schofield Welding, guys. We're super happy to have you here with us. I know the videos have been sporadic, and they're kind of a build on um, when we have time kind of thing right now, all right? So don't think we've forgotten about you. We love every one of you, and we're happy to build them, and I love building them, and we hope you guys enjoy them, and we hope that you share them with your friends and subscribe and, and hit the notification bell and whatnot. But... Guys, today's video, now you can see right now, uh, we've been doing, there's a bunch of little clips through this video, and you can see that we're doing trailer repairs, that we're doing handrail later on in the video, and that we're doing bridge work later on in the video. We're doing all sorts of different things, and mostly that's because we have started a company back home, and so we have been building on that company, doing custom fab, doing anything that we can to make it work. Well, guys, my eyes have been opened like crazy since starting this back home i want to talk about some of the worst advice that i was given as a as a helper for one this is the first time i heard it and then throughout my welding career i had heard it uh, quite a bit and you'll hear it too and and a lot of you guys that have already been involved in the oil and gas or as far as being pipe welders you have all heard it too and if you're like me you have probably said it I remember being a helper, and one of the things that happened is when my welder said, if it's not round, put it down. If when I kick it and it don't roll, I'm not welding it. Guys, as a helper, number one, as a helper, that was like the best thing that could happen. I was like, boom, he's not going to weld it. Guess who gets to weld it? Little Jakey, the little, the little helper boy. I got to weld stuff like that. And granted, that is such a great way to learn as a welder helper. Is you get to weld on things that aren't necessarily 100% important. Like as far as x-ray pipe welds or things like that. But don't throw away the structural work. Holy cow. Guys, I remember being in North Dakota. We were welding on some uh, drilling rigs. And it's actually where I started my YouTube channel. Was We were on these drilling rigs. And so if you go way, way back in my YouTube videos, you'll probably see these drilling rigs that we were on in North Dakota. Well, one of the big things that we were down there with is we had a couple hands. And these boys were our structural welders. And I will tell you what, number one, they made the same money I did. Okay. And at that point, I think it was 2016, none of us were making very good money. Um, as far as being on that job, we were just kind of scraping by just we were just grateful to be working really so we were making 60 bucks an hour as as rig welders so we provided the truck we provided materials we did all that and we were just scraping by but guys i want you to know that those structural welders made the same money as the pipe welders did and there is a good reason for it those boys freaking knew what they were doing they were extremely prideful about their welds like they knew they they took a lot of pride in it they they knew how to do it. They were extremely good fabricators, and they knew how to weld some structural. And they were, oh, man. I just remember going over there and looking at what they were doing, and it was gorgeous. It was absolutely beautiful. And they made the same money we did. Well, now fast forward to what we're doing now as far as um, owning the company and and really bidding work and learning how to do that. Guys, we are making a killing we were making more money not consistently right now as far as the oil and gas was concerned like oil and gas was consistent it was here's a check every friday here's a check every friday here's a check every friday which was awesome okay and when you get into a habit of getting a check like that every friday holy cow it's so hard to like do your own thing because that is just awesome it's great money it's awesome there's nothing wrong with it but now that we're doing our own thing, guys, our jobs, as far as the jobs paid per hour. So what I'm saying is if we could be more consistent with our jobs, which it is getting that way. It's getting to the point of where we, we are having a really hard time keeping up. But our jobs per hour is paying sometimes double, sometimes triple, sometimes quadruple the amount of money we were making as far as oil and gas. Okay. And it's mostly 90% structural work. That's impressive. That is something that if I would have stuck with that bad advice of 
If it's not round, put it down. Oh, I'd be losing out on so much freaking money. So, really what I am trying to say in this video is do not put structural welding underneath you. Structural welding is incredibly valuable. It is very lucrative. It'll make you a ton of freaking money if you learn how to bid it, if you learn how to do it right, if you learn how to do it uh, quickly and effectively. It is an amazing way to make a lot of money very fast. Now, if you can become very consistent in your jobs, which is where we are lacking, which we are building on and trying to improve on and just keep piling work on ourselves, it is a very lucrative. So, guys, the worst advice I've ever heard in my life now that we've kind of grown up a little bit in our welding careers is if it is round, put it down. Or if it is not round, put it down. Worst advice I've ever heard. There is so much money in the structural world. There's a lot of pride in the structural world. There is so much opportunity in it. If you will learn how to do it and you will do it well and you will do it correctly, you will come out very lucrative and very um, well off in your life. So anyways, you guys, be blessed. We love you all. Talk to you later. See ya.